Hi people, welcome to episode 4 of Minecraft Let's Play. You might see I have a lot of stuff. Well, <laughs> I am sorry, I recorded uh, about 10 minutes of episode with the microphone off. Oh dear. Anyway, let's uh, recapitulate what I did in these 10 minutes. I dig a small trench in here, well, in this, uh, uh, I dig two small trenches there. Uh, I planted all my sugar cane. I grabbed some uh, sticky resin from the rubber trees. I also off the cam off camera cut uh, all those uh, trees and they grow back again after I planted them. I what else? I make this uh, quasitum. Um, if any of you are interested, by the way, quasitum comes from Latin. Uh, in Latin, uh, quaestio is uh, question. So a quasitum would be some sort of uh, questioning machine, so to speak. And it should be good to well take three of these. You can see I have a 75% chance of losing, a 3% chance of succeeding, and uh, should have some paper somewhere. Yes, here. Oh, I could improve the odds if I surrounded this uh, pretty out of... Um, whoa, I was quite lucky. 3% and I made jackpot. Anyway, I was telling you <clears throat> if I surrounded this with libraries, so more reasons to get papers, get uh, lots and lots of stuff. Anyway, that's working off uh, camera by itself. I have refined iron, which I wanted to make myself an extra uh, extractor. So machine block, I require now some redstone. Uh, I place the redstone in here. I'm going as usual to make two of these. Two electronic circuits. I have... Uh, oh, look! Seven blue doped wafers. I required one more. Uh, seems like I will be off hunting Nikolite in a while. Ah, can't uh, place this normally. So I believe it was like uh, this. No? Like this. Perfect. Oop. Don't get down you. So... Oh dear. So... Okay. I am going to graph myself this uh, lonely solar panel. I'm going to get outside. I'm going to plant the solar panel, place the battery box, and place this and this. Should be, yeah, getting some juice. Of course, since there's only one solar panel, it will be really slow. <coughs> Anyway, I need to break some more of these. There's still an, some power in here. Let's burn the rest of charcoal. I am not going to burn all this. Uh, I'm going to need some tin because I'm going to make a. Well, with tin and bra. Oh, of course. I'm going to test something now that I remember. There was another option in here. Uh, one piece of tin, three pieces of copper. No. Was it the other way around? No. Can't. Now brass is uh, from he from Yellow Rams. Uh, what was the name? I always. Ah. 
there, bronze. Ah, yes, but I need this copper ingot and this tin ingot. Can't uh, use industrial crafts. Hmm. Oh, yes, I can. It's uh, just a shaped recipe. So, let's see what can we do with this. No. Yes, a wrench. That was uh, what I wanted. Haha. <coughs> <coughs> Why do I want it? Well, oh, by the way, we no longer lose the items in there. Uh, okay. I am going to place here the extractor and some some stuff to extract in there. And I need more cabling, which means uh, this in uninsulated copper wire. Okay, I can place this in here, this in here, this, this, and this. What else? The electric furnace, of course, and the battery. <clears throat> so now I can run cable in here, place the green there, in there. Okay, perfect. Now we are go. We are a go. Mm. And I can place the electric furnace in here, for example. <coughs> do I have any more charcoal? Yes, I do have a full stack now that I look at it. <coughs> Perfect. <coughs> mm, I am now looking for more what? Oh, by the way, should check it here. Perfect. I was lucky. Let's place this in here. Let's return the cobblestone to here. And now let me think for seconds. Mm. <laughs> yes. Do I have more? Mm? Why do I have the two sets of bones? Uh, I don't have any more of that, so I need to oh to craft it. Yep, scoop. I won't be using it uh, for now, but in the future I will. Yes, the wrench can be repaired, so I can later use it for making an electrical version of itself. <coughs> Ah yes, I was going to get more um, mm, sticky resin to place into the extractor. I'm not sure if this was the fastest fastest way to advance with uh, all these mods installed. I used to went ahead and did this uh, without planning, but I believe it has been the quickest start I've been I made uh, since I installed the. Uh, Industrial craft for the first time. I'm quite happy for that. So I'm going down to, f time to try to farm more Nicolite, and I will be back with you as soon as I have more resources to burn. Well, and I should be. Before that, let's hit uh, solar stage, shall we? I need a generator, meaning three refined iron and a battery, uh, electronic circuit, refined iron, yes, uh, battery, nope. So give me redstone, give me tin, and give me copper. <coughs> Oops. Going to make five batteries. Which is more than enough. Uh, I was going to make generator. Oh dear, I'm going to need another electronic circuit, meaning I'm going to need more copper cables. 
So I need to burn copper. Cook the copper. Mm -hmm. Mm. Losing almost as much uh, as it's making a little mm, advantage, but not much. Uh, so I need uh, three copper. Got it. To be crafted uh, like so. Okay. This in here, this in here. Perfect. Uh, the generator required uh, an iron furnace, three refined iron. I got an iron furnace in here, which is sitting idle doing nothing. Mm, three refined iron and battery. This is a good way to upgrade things. Um, I'm going to need now the crystal and the coal dust. I'm sorry if I am a little hard to follow right now, but uh, I've been making this stuff for a long time now, so it's quite a uh, memorized bunch of steps. If you want to see it in more detail, uh, in my previous Let's Play there hasn't been a... well, it's like a... Uh, well, you can see it in my previous Let's Play, much uh, slower and easy to follow, in case you want. Going to need more uh, copper. Mm, by the way, there has been, indeed, change uh, since the last... Uh, well, well, since I started recording my Season 2 Let's Play and now uh, which is essentially that if it's raining, your solar panels won't work. So don't worry if that happens. It's normal. Okay, now we're getting some power. I can remove this generator from here and hook it in there. Uh, so, of course, now we have some trouble with the power generation. But uh, we can provide extra from there. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, this, 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 all there. So now I need to start greening more stuff. Uh, well, like this, for example. And we have... Yes. <clears throat> okay, flux. Uh, for those of you that are a little new here, flax seeds are needed for crafting paint for LRAMs Red Power 2. Let's see if I can find it. Yes, here it is. We use the flax seeds with a paint can to craft white paint or orange or magenta, etc. The paint can can be made with tin plates, which is uh, something you do with the alloy furnace. But of course, we now have a solar version of the alloy furnace, so shouldn't be a trouble. Uh, we wouldn't, we shouldn't have any short, uh, short um, troubles. <clears throat> Let me see. Do I have more refined iron? Yes, I do. <clears throat> I am going to craft more. Um, Uh, another solar panel. After all, each solar panel generates about uh, one energy unit per second, meaning it is uh, heavily dependent on the having a buffer instead of. Uh, hmm? I don't have. Where did? Oh, of course, I did place the generator in there. So I'm going to need to uh, cook more iron, sorry. I totally forgot about that. 
and yes, I should be cooking iron, not uh, Martin. Mm, there. For now. Uh, so as I was telling, now you go down there. I am going to craft. Uh, yes, it is dependent on. Yeah. So we are generating up there uh, one energy unit per second. However, in here we are consuming much more than that. So it uh, comes to reason to. Uh, well, we can guess we're going to run out of uh, power before we run out of work to do. So I wanted to leave things uh, working by themselves without me needing to come back. Let me see, do I have... yes, I do have some iron already cooked. So I can place this in here. This in here. There were, It was five, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's check the blue electric furnace up here. If it's is it is it operative? Yes, it is. Can it cook uh, iron dust? Yes, it can. Perfect. As you can see, all these contraptions uh, depend heavily on not having much work to do before I make them do something. And since we are here, let's graph all. This sugar cane we can. <clears throat> the only drawback from the for this is that, uh, of course, the sugar cane can fall into the into the water. <clears throat> but uh, it's a small dive anyway, and this is mostly temporarily. Perfect, I got a small surplus. Great. So we got seven. And a little more we will we, we'll get us some more. And so I'm going to uh, place some cobblestone into the olive, uh, well, into the blue electric furnace. <coughs> So it will be cooking itself for a while. Okay, now we make another machine block. We get uh, one of these uh, batteries. Battery machine block furnace, get us generator. <coughs> we now get the glass, the electric circuits and the coal dust. And we make this distribution, if I am not uh, grabbing it wrong, yes, solar panel, perfect. So this goes back in there, I can place uh, this in here, and I am going to graph this sapphire and pickaxe and the stone pickaxe and the bucket. Yes, I am going to go down with some water to get uh, <coughs> obsidian. Yes, I am going to venture myself in the nether before episode uh, a lot. <laughs> I am truly breaking my limits in this uh, season. Haha, <laughs> I hope you appreciate it. Oh, night time is coming. Of course, water. Nearly forgot. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. So I am bravely, well, I am foolishly going uh, underground. And I will try to brave. Uh, oh dear, I am running out of blue electric power, of course. But it's not a great deal. Once it's uh, daytime again, it will start start recharging and working. So we go down, down, down. And here we take a detour, and there we go. Leva. And here was when I, where I found the diamonds. 
and yes, I know I did quite uh, a number down there. Uh, nothing here, nothing in there. So <coughs> let's uh, light things a little before we darken them a lot to avoid unpleasant surprises. And after all, we have a surplus of torches right now. <clears throat> okay, so we have this ready and uh, I suppose we should now make sure there's no problem. Shouldn't have uh, go that deep. Okay, right now it's just a matter of digging. If this can which seems it cannot. Right. I just messed things a little. Sorry, I thought the sapphire pickaxe was able to mine obsidian. I was wrong. I'm going to need the uh, diamonds for that. Anyway, time to start uh, trying to get more items, I suppose. So I'll be mining and I'll see you back in the surface when my oh dear more sapphire when my inventory is full okay for some reason fraps uh, likes to turn itself off after a few times after some seconds anyway i expanded my base in here and i could have uh, made these slabs with ref power 2 and so but i forgot to uh, I m just made an electric branch like this, the branch I had from before, an electric circuit and a rechargeable battery and I made some uh, solar panels. You can see this is the recipe, I used it uh, before and I am using right now the blue electric furnace to produce charcoal because the electric branch will deplete my energy reserves rather quickly because of uh, what I am going to do. Well, right now they have some sort of uh, small positive income, but that may uh, change rather quickly. Anyway, I was uh, also telling how the project table uh, Here is the recipe. Let's take out this. You can see some wood, chest, crafting table, and stone. It's a nifty addition by Loram that uh, in Red Power 2 that allows you to craft uh, one item up there and just hit. Uh, well, let's do an example quickly. We do this. And you can see the materials are being drawn from the down side, from this uh, down part. I can shift click and they are added to my inventory, or I can left click and they would uh, they will take every item that can be used for this. Anyway, I made an electric tree tab because I am going to reclaim these newly placed uh, solar panels I made before. Uh, you hit the M key, but since I have um, raised minimap installed, I remap that to N and hit uh, left, click, left click. Right click, sorry. You can see we are enable and disable lossless. Uh, well, that's because there is a small chance of you losing one of Red Power, uh, sorry, Industrial Craft items uh, when you take them down. But if you use Lossless, you will be wasting much more energy. In fact, you will be able only to use once the electric range which before needing to recharge it. And be careful, you might be reorienting this little bad box if you are not careful and well you can see I charge it and I need to go back 
Uh, one of the next items I am going to craft is the uh, bat pack, but uh, not for now, since uh, well, I am not uh, using much in the way of uh, industrial craft right now until I have a more steady supply of energy. But uh, right now I have a quite a, a good supply of diamonds. I stood a lot of time mining. You can see I also got some obsidian. Thanks to this uh, diamond pickaxe I ended made it making. And well, we're at it and uh, that charts up. I am going to show you rest power to cutting system. You require a hand saw. There are several of them. You can see we, there are some iron, diamonds, ruby, emeralds and sapphire. Uh, in case you're wondering, the difference is the number of uses and the materials they can affect. Essentially, a diamond hanso can work with everything. So I'm going to take four wooden planks. I'm going to place the diamond hanso on top. You can place it on top on on the bottom because on the sides is for something else. And we get wooden planks. Wooden planks are half as uh, thick than regular. Uh, wood planks uh, and they are similar to slabs however you can make them with any kind of uh, material and you can place them up and, or down and they look a little darker because I have uh, options, video settings smooth lighting off see? Now they are look uh, like the regular ones. And the game changes a little with, with the smooth lightning on. <coughs> and, well, that's mostly the important part. Uh, remember that placing your tools inside uh, one of the equivalent exchange alchemical chests with a talisman of repair will repair the durability of those items for free. Yes, it's free, haha. <laughs> Another nifty trick of the slabs, by the way, is that you can place them on top of a chest and the chest will be able to open if you place them vertically. Now I place these slabs here horizontally, but uh, I could place two of them vertically and the chest would still be able to be open. Let's check this. Okay, here and here. So you can see it looks like there's, well, say for this small line in the middle, there's a, a wooden block on top of the chest. But we still can open it. However, if I grab one regular piece of wood and place it on top, we can no longer open the chest. So it's a nifty trick if you want to have a chest embed on a wall or something but uh, you have a small problem with uh, well the top not being able to be opened okay now that uh, I finish with that I'm making copper in here so let's make make tin in here <clears throat> and the electric branch has been already charged. So you can see this is mostly mechanic right now. I am trying to expand my energy operations. And that means, well, right now means turning some of these solar panels. I only need one more, but uh, I believe I will be crafting that one into an upgraded version. This upgraded version, by the way, this uh, <coughs> low voltage, medium voltage and high voltage solar rays uh, were originally part of a mod called Advanced Machines. However, since the uh, last version of Industrial Craft, you can find uh, in one place Advanced Machines and in another the Compact Solars, which is uh, the name of that part of the mod. 
Uh, why are they aside from the aside from the mod? Well, essentially, uh, since Salblaka released the um, upgrades for his uh, machines, the overclocker, the transformer, and the Lapatron loader, but mostly the overclocker, which is crafted like so. Uh, there was little use for the advanced machines and personally I found a small trouble with them in my second uh, half of my second season of uh, the, my Minecraft Let's Play. Essentially they tend to blow up if I wasn't really careful. Yes, I know there is a... Um, jumping thingy out, outside. Okay, now we need a medium voltage uh, low voltage transformer. So in case uh, you're new for to industrial craft, uh, well, besides being uh, having a wiki, this is new, besides having a wiki uh, where you can check for almost a lot, uh, everything and uh, being a, having a forum where you can ask questions and the like. Uh, Industrial Craft has uh, three different uh, amounts of voltage. Uh, it goes in segments from 1 to 32 energy units per second. It's low voltage. It's uh, the voltage used by n normal machines emitted by the back box and produced by, well, everything, every generator in-game but for the nuclear reactor. Yes, we do have a nuclear reactor with industrial craft. And yes, it can blow up spectacularly. It's not hard to find uh, 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 videos in YouTube showing it. Um, by the way, there was a time where I, a book existed and the electrical items would be recharged by the talisman of repair. That has been solved long ago. I am sorry, we cannot cheat that way. Boo. Anyway, I need to craft myself a low voltage transformer, meaning I need some copper, I need a copper cable, and I need some wooden planks. So I can craft the wooden planks from here, I can cra uh, get the copper from here. Mm. Okay, there we go. And you can hear it, but uh, right now I have I am having some trouble in here. You can see the lights are turning on and off. That's because power levels are not enough to keep with the current level of consumption. So let's grab. Whoops! You little trouble troublemaker. These uh, blue slimes, by the way, are new to to the game thanks to some craft, and are the result of uh, well, magical experiments. Okay, right now I am producing eight energy units from this solar panel, and another four from this uh, four around it. That means twelve uh, energy power per second which is hopefully a little more than my current needs more or less <clears throat> so anyway I am going to wrap up this episode in here because I believe it's a good wrapping up point uh, after I told you this is uh, intentionally left like so because this level in here will be mostly a maintenance level I won't be using it for living, but for placing pipes, scaling, and the like. And here I am going to build another store story and uh, use it for well thingies. Ah, so close! I was nearly able to land on the water. And uh, another thing I am going to do is in the in the lower part of the new building. 
I am going to uh, craft some bookcases in order to place there the in order to place there uh, oh dear the questionum quest I'm sorry I I have a hard time going around some of the new names I am used for uh, to the old Ars Magica, Ars Magica uh, faction called the Quaesitores, but the uh, Quaesitum is, uh, well, I cheated my way through Latin 101, so to speak. And there it is. That's all. Thanks for watching episode 4. I hope to see you in episode 5, uh, especially if things go well and I regain my internet connection ASAP because I have uh, recorded uh, episode 3 and 4 without internet connections and thus my achievements are a little resetted are not storage, I am playing offline right now sadly anyway I plan to move the Quasitum to here and surround it with uh, libraries for that I am going to need more paper uh, turned into books and then into bookcases. Uh, some craft requires a lot of those. Well, any mod uh, centered around some sort of uh, investigation and research will ask for a lot of them. Yes, I am producing a surplus now that the uh, electric furnace is turned off. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you around and have fun, people.